Hi! In this video I want to test LED array Cree 6B3590 using my spectrophotometer from Ocean Optics. Measurements will be provided for the array with rated voltage drop up to 36 volts and maximal current 3.6 amperes. Specifically, this model in datasheet. CD beam with the best luminous efficacy. The luminance temperature is uh, 3,500 Kelvin and the current reproduction index is 80 units. The LED array is connected to laboratory voltage supply with the possibility to constrain current. For measuring uh, the efficiency in different supply modes, I will measure parameters for the following current values 0 0.7, 1.4, 1.75, 2.1, and almost maximal value 3.5 ampere. We will see how the array light flux parameters are changed depending on the current value, while the distance is fixed and equals to uh, 25 and a half centimeters or 10 inches. And also we will calculate what current uh, the relative PPFD per watt value is greatest for. My spectrophotometer is connected to the laptop. I obtained the data using the proprietor software OceanView. Next, I will capture the video from the laptop screen. Turning on the array. And we see the spectral power distribution of Cree 6B 3590, 3500 Kelvin, and the reproduction index 80. Let's get down to measurements. Here we are. The first measurement. The maximal power is uh, 133 watt. Illumination equals to 83,000 looks. And it's being decreased due to the warming. This radiator is not big enough and it's not recommended to use it for a long time. Therefore, we should measure parameters in this mode as set. Light flux energy is uh, 246 watt per square meter. And uh, PPFD, the most important parameter, equals to 1160 micromole per second per square meter. The measurement distance is 25 and a half centimeters or 10 inches. The measurement number two. The current value is 2.1 ampere. 1160 micromole per second per square meter. The measurement distance is 25 and a half centimeters or 10 inches. The measurement number 2. The current value is 2.1 amperes. The ray consumed power is 74 watt. The PPFD for the same distance it equals to 771 micromole per second per square meter. The light flux energy is equal to 163 watt per square meter. And uh, And uh, the illumination equals to 54,760 looks.
Next, I set up the current to 1.75 amperes and repeat measurements on the same distance. The third iteration is over. For the current 1.75 amperes, the LED array is consumed 60 watt. You can see the parameter values on the screen. Next, measurement number 4 will be for the current value 1.4 amperes and the last one, number 5, for 0 0.7 amperes. I'm adjusting the current to 1.4 amperes and starting the measurements. The fourth iteration is over. The array cons is consumed 47 watt under the current 1.4 amperes. Keep on moving. The fifth and the last iteration under the current value 0 0.7 amperes is uh, almost over. The array is consumed 22.6 watt. PPFD is equal to 289 micromole per second per square meter and the light flux energy is 61.1 watt per square meter. The illumination equals to 20,000 and a half, uh, 20,500 lux. Now I recalculate the PPFD value in relation to the consumed power in percentages. Then uh, it will be possible to see what array operational mode is optimal. As a standard I will take the current 2.1 ampere, which is close to the rated current value while the consumed power is uh, 74 watt. And it seems that uh, the lower the array power, the greater its luminous efficacy. That is, uh, the LED array efficiency is increased whilst the emitted heat is reduced. And now I recalculate all the data in percentages and uh, note the relation lux per watt. The results are ready. I think that it's also necessary to transform them to percentages for clearness. Detailed analysis showed that the dependence PPFD on lumens was practically linear for various array power modes. And as we see, the difference is rather high. If we set up uh, the maximum operation mode, the LED array loses up to 16 percentages in luminous efficacy. If uh, we decrease the power operation mode of array, the heat load on radiator is reduced and uh, the increment of PPFD per watt is significantly growing. This is clearly obvious and uh, it can be concluded that uh, the, operational, the operation mode when current is equal to 1.4 amperes is almost optimal. Moreover, the array lifetime will be increased as well. It's possible to fit the array with the current of uh, 0.7 amperes, but this approach will require the much more investments for reaching the same power, uh, which will efficiently lighten the necessary area. The experiment is over now. Conclusions. It's not recommended to supply the red array with the current greater than the rated value. The desirable current value should be below the rated value on about 30 percentages. This conclusion is correct for all array models from other manufacturers as well. Give it thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this video with friends in social networks, and uh, bye for now.